Question number 8. A lorry left on A for on B and maintained an average speed of 50 km per hour. A car left on A for on B for 2 minutes later and maintained an average speed of 80 km per hour. At the time the car arrived in ton B, the lorry had 25 km to cover to ton B. Determine the distance between ton A and B. So that is a question. And uh, now to begin with, I will draw a line here that will help us to get the positions of A and B. So let town A be located there, then town B located there. The lorry was the first one to leave from A uh, at 50 kilometers per hour. Then the car left town A uh, to be 42 minutes later. So up to this point, there's something that we need to calculate. A car left town A to be 42 minutes later. That is after the lorry left. So we need to get the distance covered by the lorry in those uh, 42 minutes. So distance is given by speed times time. And uh, the speed of the lorry is uh, 50 kilometers per hour. Then the time is 42 minutes. So convert 42 minutes to hours by dividing by 60. Now this one should give the distance covered by the lorry in 42 minutes <coughs> and this will give uh, 35 kilometers. So that means that the lorry had covered 35 kilometers by the time the car was beginning the journey. Now the car uh, maintained a speed of uh, 80 kilometers per hour. At the time the car arrived in town B, the lorry had 25 kilometers to cover. So the other thing that we need to calculate uh, is the time taken by the car. Time taken by the car from A, from town A to B. And don't have that distance. So we can let this distance, uh, the entire distance here, uh, the distance between A and B, this distance, we can let it to be represented by x x kilometers so that is the whole distance a b that is what you're calculating now we are given that this statement that at the time the car arrived in town b the lorry had 25 kilometers to cover so by the time the car was arriving at b uh, the lorry had not completed the journey so there was uh, 25 kilometers left so there's this distance that we need to calculate, this distance that is here, the distance that is uh, between here. And so it means that this distance that is uh, remaining here, which is given by, since you're given the distance between A and B is X, so this uh, distance will be X subtract, we have that 5 on the left hand side, then 25, so that is at 35 plus 25 is 60. So that distance is represented by x minus 60 kilometers. Now this distance covered by the lorry, x minus 60 kilometers, the time was, that was used to cover that distance is equal to the time taken by the car to cover the whole of this distance, x kilometers. So time taken by the lorry to cover x minus 60 kilometers is equivalent to the time taken by the car to cover x kilometers that is very important so we need to get uh, the time taken by the car and how do we get time time is given by the distance over the speed the distance is x kilometers then the, the speed is 80 kilometers per hour Time by the lorry. Time by the lorry. And uh, it is very important to note that we calculate this distance. Time taken to cover this distance. X minus 60. That is the distance. That is the distance. X minus 60. So divide. Divide that one. Take distance. X minus 60. Then divide um, this one by speed. And speed is... Uh, the speed is uh, 50 kilometers per hour. So it means um, 
that this time taken by the lorry to cover that distance x minus 60 is equivalent to this time taken by the car so we have to equate this to solve for this x so x minus 60 divided by 50 is equals to x over 80 so to solve this cross multiply 80 x minus 60 is equals to 50 times x 50x and this will give um 80x minus uh, 4800 is equals to 50x so so bring x together you get 30x is equals to 4800 and uh, this will give uh, x is 160 kilometers and that is the distance a b